a lot of people headed out to the beach today. They don't care what's going on weather-wise. Today but is, we need to let them know. Is, yes. is a good day, but there's coastal flooding, there's high rip current risk, there's still wind. Uh, but as far as temperatures, today is going to be a better day than the end of the week. 62 degrees right now at 648 a.m. North northeast wind at 9 miles per hour. The winds are going to pick up, though, this afternoon. We're going to see them out of the east-southeast, so we're going to see the wind shift, and we're going to get it about about 12 to 25 miles per hour this afternoon, especially through Corpus Christi. 75 year high today with some sun trying to break through into the afternoon. Sunrise coming up at 740. Sunset will be at 739. Still mostly cloudy overnight. 67 degrees. Isolated showers can't be ruled out today, but we're going to see our rain chances increasing as a cold front comes through. Now this is a pretty strong cold front. I'm going about a 28 degree temperature difference between Thursday. So Thursday is our last kind of warm day or final warm up. We get to 84 Friday high temperature in the afternoon, your afternoon temperature 56. So that's a very strong or a strong potentially very strong cold front coming through and it's also going to come along with a risk for some some strong storms as well. So the timing of this front, I bumped it up a little bit. I think it will be through Corpus Christi closer to 6 a.m. Our last kind of warm temperature uh, looks to be right there at 5 a.m. So 71 degrees. Then by 7 a.m. we're 53 degrees. So that's going to be a big instant drop depending on what time you're headed out the door in the morning. You're going to notice a big difference. So if you maybe go to the gym at 5 a.m. you're going to be like, wow, it's nice and mild. And when you're leaving the gym at 6, 630, um, it's going to be much colder. So grab the coat as you're headed out the door. And you may even want the rain jacket as well. We could have a few strong storms at that time as well. So between 4 and 6 a.m. some stronger storms will be possible. Northern counties 3 to 5 a.m. Southern counties 5 to 7 a.m. This is going to lead to a cool and damp weekend. So first ahead of this front we're windy as we're in between this area of high and low pressure. Our winds picking up out of the south increasing a chance for a few spotty showers, especially as a, a dry line kind of moves through. That's why our temperatures are going to bump up a little bit on Thursday with that dry line playing with the coast. But then Friday this is 4 a.m. right here. Here. There are the storms along and behind the front. Strongest storms probably right where this bow is through Houston. But nonetheless, we are going to see the chance for some strong to severe storms. The main threats will be high wind gusts and some small hail. It does look like Friday after the front we get a little bit of sunshine. But remember, winds are still out of the north. That's pumping in that cooler air. But look what happens into the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're seeing this pattern with some damp conditions moving in. In the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere, we've got flow coming off of Mexico and at the coast or at the surface, we're having that northerly flow. That warmer air is going up and over the colder air. And so essentially we're going to be stuck in that overrunning pattern that leads to those damp conditions for us. The greatest risk of severe weather on Thursday is going to be the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex up to the Red River for areas through Austin, San Antonio, Houston. There's a slight risk for us here in the coastal bend. It is a marginal risk, which means there's a slim chance that one of the storms produces some stronger wind gusts. However, everyone I expect seeing some 50 mile per hour wind gusts Friday, Friday morning especially. So you may be dealing with some power outages on Friday morning morning as well. What a way to kick off St. Patrick's Day, right? Uh, the, with the sun trying to come out, I don't know. The timing it may not be right. Slim chance maybe for a rainbow early Friday morning. That would be pretty magical. But otherwise, much, much cooler conditions over the weekend with that unsettled pattern in 